Sorry about that. Well, my camera died. I'm sorry, my camera phone died on me. <laughs> so I'm gonna try this. I know it's gonna be shaky. I'm gonna try this with my actual camera. Again. So we walk into the front door. Front door looks to be brand new. Nice little window in the front, letting in some extra light. It's brick exterior. Looks like all the way around, a little mail slot. It's like some really nice, cute little landscaping. It is located on Daly Road, 8800 Daly Road, Springfield Township, Finneytown Schools. Daly Road is up to cute little houses all around here. Looks like people take care of them. About similar size. Daly Road is not a highway, but it's a busy road. So let's go on in. You walk in the door and you come into the living room. You zoom out a bit. Yep, come into the living room. It's not a huge room, like 12 by 12, 12 by 16, something like that. Lots of natural light, baseboard trim, gray paint on the walls, so it's very modern paint. It's as pretty much move, it's moving ready, good to go. This is probably where they had their couches where I'm standing now and their TV against this wall. The cable is right there. Outlet right there. Look at it, it's really light. I don't have any real lights on, so it's bright in here. I know it's the middle of the day, but lots of windows which look to be in good shape. And you got your side door here again. It's like a maybe not a new door, but it looks to be a good solid wood door. Here's the kitchen. Let me get this door out of the way. So you walk off your living room into the kitchen, and you have this corner here to put a table. Because this does, this house does lack a dining room. So this is an eat-in kitchen, and it's not a huge kitchen. You wouldn't be able to put a huge table, maybe a table for two. And this is, here's the kitchen. So enough for maybe two people to come in and cook. Really, realistically, one. So you got a nice layout here. It's a, you got your new appliances, electric range and stove, you got your microwave and your stainless steel fridge as well as the stove. The uh, cabinetry is kind of cheap, but it's retro. It has a nice look to it. As well as the counters. I mean, it's really, again, it's good to go, move-in ready. Stainless steel sink and the windows look good. I'll just show you the backyard view from the kitchen window. It's blown out. Here we go. So good sized backyard, um, privacy fence on one side and the back and half of the other side. So good sized backyard, I'll take more pictures back there. So you walk through the kitchen and you can turn right and go down into the basement. So what's cool about the basement it has been recently waterproof by a professional company so they came in and they and all the outside walls of the basement they came and waterproofed it sealed it up so you're not going to get any water down here and it has a lifetime guarantee so at one point this was a finished room they had taken down the paneling on this wall to do their drywall, I mean sorry, to do their waterproofing. All the windows are block windows. I can't tell, there's the block windows. Down the basement. 
So here is the main living room, living area of the basement. It's nice and cool down here. Nice big size room. You can see this is where the paneling was up. And it has actually the ceiling has been taken down. There's probably either paneling or a drop down ceiling at one point that has been removed. So either you could take down this wood here and paint this all like black and leave it exposed or you could put drywall back up and make this into a really nice extra living space. I would definitely recommend it. You could leave the box and uh, has kind of a cool look with those things exposed. So it really, here's where the they had a, the beam kind of decorated, the support beam. Leave the paneling, paint it white, go drywall around the rest of it, perhaps. And then carpet, or just leave this floor in the way it is. So go back towards the steps, and you can turn left. You go into the laundry room. You can see there's an extra toilet there. Looks to be functional and used recently. They have toilet paper in there already, so also some extra plumbing. Looks like washer and dryer. Washer is fairly new. Dryer is a little older, but they're here. The dryer vent going outside. You go a little bit farther, there's some of your utilities. There's their water heater, water softener, purifier. Looks like to be a good 30, 40 gallon tank. I can't get it to focus, but there you go. You got your sub pump. Again, it's also been waterproofed, so you're going to have a dry basement here for a while. For real. You go a little further, and here's a little another room, mostly storage, and you got your brand new furnace. You can do either a workshop or just storage down here. Everybody needs storage. Storage is in high demand here so it's good to see more storage oh I was mistaken here is I don't know if I can get a light turned on or not I know it's completely dark but here you go actually here's a little hidden room down here that's actually been This a little man cave. It's actually so somebody's little workshop down here. So nice little bonus room. So that's the basement. So a lot of possible, you wouldn't have to do too much. You could do something down here or just leave it. Um, you could finish at least the ceiling. Again, make it just nice finished basement. Obviously you couldn't add the square footage, but the saleability would definitely be there. So the flooring of the kitchen, you know, linoleum, Kind of retro look. I've seen a lot worse. It kind of works in here. So let's check out the bedrooms. Can the gray paint kind of continues over here? There's some paneling, some drywall. It really does kind of work. Here's the coat closet. Let's see some piping going through it, but no big deal. It's just a closet. Here is you turn right, and here's the main bathroom. So they have kind of kept the retro floor, but with the new vanity, new toilet, and then the 
subway tiling, it really does work. So, I mean, that's good to go. I mean, just add a curtain and you're good. Working bathroom. Yeah, another towel closet right here. Again, you have, you know, the other, you know, just a towel closet. So, right next to the. So, you got two bedrooms downstairs. It's, again, it's a key part. You're going to have a half a floor upstairs. So we'll look at the two downstairs bathrooms first. This is a pretty small bedroom, but it's a bedroom. Big problem here is there's no door. I saw that, I think I saw an extra door downstairs, but it needs a door. It does have a closet, it has a nice big window, lots of space. It's a small room. It's a small room, probably six by eight. The cool thing is that these houses, this actually has a pocket door that goes into the wall. A little latch you can hold on to and pull it back. And you got your, your closet door. Here's probably what, most likely the master bedroom. Wood floors continue throughout and they are a little creaky if I haven't mentioned that before. Again, pocket door, closet, it's there. It's not a huge closet, so really it'd be kind of a turn off for a couple. I know they're Maybe used to like a walk-in or maybe at least his and hers closet, but this is just a hers. <laughs> You're going to have to get some sort of a dresser in here, but it's a big room. It's a good size room, probably 12 by 12. Windows continue throughout and uh, same windows from the living room and the kitchen. 